I shall now take you through a week of my life. I'm giving myself time to fade the video out. <laughs> but you look frightening. Yeah, it's important. You have to give yourself video editing time. Childhood friends, we left the mountain. Dreams of riches filled our head in a distant land. He lay and died and spoke to me with tears that say, Can't you hear the mountains cold? Louder than the thunder roll Come back to me I hear them call My son, your rambling days are over <laughs> Many years This world I roam Searching for like the camera huh what's wrong hey good boy you want a tater you want a tater yes he's a good boy I tell you what first thing you need to do if you're gonna do this kind of work get yourself some eye protection you don't want anything hitting you in the eye it's all fun and games till someone loses an eye. Next, some ear protection. Now, I've played music for a long time, and I've done quite a bit of damage to my to my hearing. I, I might be a little late in the game to, you know, to worry about my hearing now, but whatever hearing I got left, I want to hang on to. Having a cool hat helps. Goes a long way. I don't know if it protects me from anything, but it, you know, it's nice. Makes me feel protected. So. I'm gonna be working on this here guy right here. See that very good. It's a big old machete for clearing out some brush. It's forged from uh, 1095 carbon steel. I'm gonna be getting a handle on it. It's already tempered, it's ready. I'm gonna get a handle on it, get it sharpened, and get a sheath done today. These little guys here. Let me show you what I got here. This is uh, half of a set of steak knives I'm working on. So these are all uh, 1095 carbon steel. Pretty well there, I just, I just gotta uh, do four more of these. Get the uh, walnut together for the handles. I'm supposed to keep these real simple, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to Viking them up a little bit. Cause to be honest, Viking stuff is the shit, and you know I like I like doing Viking stuff, and that's why people come to me. I like the same cool stuff that they do. I think I, I don't know if that's true. It feels like it might be over here. I set up this box here. I'm still getting the hang of it you know trying to get better pictures of my stuff because i know sometimes people will see stuff that i do and i'm you know she's the photographer she's like awesome i'm i don't know i make knives so i'm not this videoing and, and photoshop stuff I'm, I'm not that's not my thing i don't know so i thought maybe this thing would help it's pretty cool it's like a big old white box but uh yeah so i'm gonna set up this camera so i can stuff made here and uh hopefully document some good footage i don't know we'll see i'm taking a new approach though I should, I should mention that, is uh, I was doing videos where I would just film the whole process, you know, from start to finish, and edit it together, but I found that I was missing things, missing things from the process, and missing parts of it, so when I finished the video, it was like, 
there's like entire sections that are just not there. So I decided to take this this new approach where I kind of like do like a I guess it's a vlog. I guess I'm gonna I'm just gonna talk to you like you're there, like you're here in my shop with me. You feel a little silly, but I imagine I'll get used to it. Let's get started. I want the the handles to sit pretty evenly on the knife, like like right here. See this? How this is real even and nice and straight and uniform. So what I like to do is I. I go ahead and mount the the scales to each other first. You can see they're not they're not perfect. Cuz I just cut these out of the uh the parent stock here. So, I'm going to go to the grinder and clean this up and get this looking real even. You can kind of see we're nice and even now. I'm going to get these pins back out of here. They're really tight and uh, get this gluing and then when we come back to this piece we'll be we'll be you know doing all the final sanding and, and cleaning up the, the spine of the blade and all that Stay tuned for the next video where I finish the knife and we're going to take it outside and we're going to chop a bunch of shit down. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say cuss words. Stay tuned.